Hey folks, it's Mike Murphy. Today's quick tip is in ScreenFlow. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you four different ways to change the canvas size or the size of your video here in ScreenFlow. The first way to do it is before you start recording, create a new document by going to File, New, or Command N is the keyboard shortcut. Choose this one here, New Document. Choose a preset right here. I usually choose a 1080p, or you can manually enter in the numbers right here. When you're ready, click the New Document button and a new project window will open for you. The second way to change the canvas area or to change the size of your video is to come up to File, Document Settings, choose one of the presets, or just manually enter it in. Let's say you wanted to make a square for Instagram or Facebook. Just put it in 1080 by 1080, hit Update. Now you have yourself a square canvas area, and you're going to have to scale that video down to fit. And the third way to change the canvas size is to use the Canvas Resize button, which is located right here. It looks like a little crop symbol there. You can see it says Resize the Canvas Area. Click on that. You're going to manually type in the numbers here, or you can choose a preset from the list here. Let's say that we want to do something for Instagram stories. So I'm going to do 1080 pixels as the width. I'm going to hit the tab key to 1920 for the height. And you see here you have a little color swatch here. That's pretty cool. You can change the background color of your video. Let's say I want to change it to my little navy there and click OK. You're going to come over here and click the green check mark when you're done. And now I have myself a vertical video to make for Instagram stories. Again, you're going to have to scale in the video to change it. But you can see here now I have that navy blue background. And the fourth way to change the camera size is hiding all the way in the bottom right corner. If you see that 60, that's actually the frame rate. You can see here it says the current frame rate and the timeline is operating at. If you click on that though, you're going to get the drop down menu. This is the same drop down that you get when you come up here to file document settings. Choose a preset or manually type in the numbers. Hit update when you're done and you're good to go. My name is Mike Murphy. That is how you change the canvas size in ScreenFlow. Cheers.